Welcome back Lighting Friends, this is Rob from Pathway Connectivity Solutions. In the last video we talked about Cognito's natural language control. Today I'm going to show you how to get to some of those tools in the control task on the toolbar. And as we mentioned in the second video, the, the toolbars are the second bar up. The first bar is the task bar and that's the task of select and until you select something you won't be able to control so let me select my VL2K here and now I can see control and when I get to control it opens up and there's intensity, color, position and shape controls uh, and inside of that once you see the for instance uh, amber colored uh, task called intensity control you see an amber toolbar and always to the left is the wheels and that's what we're going to concentrate on today and the same is true when you go into color you'll see purple tools and the wheels tool is on the left and green is position and again the wheels tool is on the left and pink is shape tools and they're on the left so depending on the fixture you select some of these tasks, like if I were to go back into select and select just a dimmer and I go into control, I do not have color, position, and shape tools. Or if I select uh, a different light that has lots more controls, like the VL1K that has shutters, when I go into controls and I go into shape, I get many more tools above here because there's all the controls for gobos and shape and color. So as you are working with the physical desk, one of the things that is very important to remember is you want your hands on the desk and you want to be looking at the stage the whole time uh, because you really can't you know, be creating art on the stage if, if you're always looking at the screen. So there's these buttons on this side here and they exactly mimic the four tasks inside of control intensity color position and shape so you don't need to always be using the touch screen and selecting those tasks themselves you will learn that these tools here will jump you through those very quickly one of the other tricks that I think I've mentioned before is holding down both shift keys together will take you back to the last display so you can be inside of select and then double hit and you'll get back to control double hit shift you'll get back to select and when you are inside of uh, uh, the control tasks one of the other things is a single shift button will allow you to change the right and the left arrow into the previous and the next fixture and this shirt this area down here currently shows me that number three is selected so if I hit next, then number four is selected. So that will actually even speed things up because you won't have to keep jumping back to select. You can stay inside of control. You can stay inside of a specific part of control. So let's just select fixture one. We can stay in position here and we can be doing some panning and tilting. Look, this is gonna pan and tilt my light here. And then I could go to my next fixture and then I'll be doing panning and tilting on fixture two. And then if I want to go back and touch up the last guy, I could go back to the previous fixture and there I am back on number one. So that's a quick way around getting through the different tasks of control. Uh, and now I want to concentrate on the wheels. So when you look in the display and you look at the wheels, you will notice that the uh, four, we call these bubbles, match up with the four wheels. So there is no D wheel right now. There is inside of intensity wheels under the wheel bank called control. Uh, there is nothing on the D wheel. Now, if I change the bank to timing by touching it, then the uh, blue wheel or the D wheel opens up and I get something that I can run there. Now, of course, when you actually start ticking this thing, um, what's important to note is that there's detents in the wheels. So every time you just roll over a detent, you get one more unit. And that's important because if you are in, I'm just going to quickly jump here to gobos and I use the red wheel and I go from the open gobo 
to the five facet prism to the circle of ovals I'm only moving the wheel a very little amount because each one is actually a gobo and if I do it on this guy I got pebbles dots dust dust, dust sorry excuse me dust breakup uh, medium circle night sky now uh, you may want to split gobos or um, colors or whatever what have you so here there's a good example splitting color is very interesting so hit the color button I go to color I have white I go to light red and I can see that on the left of uh, light red is white and if I was to go one more detent with the wheel I'm going to go to blue so without the designer will maybe say to you Oh, I'm fed up with the red. What are my options in this light? What, and you can say, without doing anything, you can say, well, sir, you can go to white or you can roll into blue. So here we go. We just go into blue. Now I know I'm in blue because I see that in the center and I can go to yellow. Um, one of the things I was mentioning about each detent is a unit. Now that could be a second. It could be a, um, a, a gobo. It could be um, a degree. Now, if you hold down the shift key, and roll the wheel, you'll actually get fractions of a unit. So there is blue plus 0.5. So that'd be a split between blue and yellow. The same is true if I go into position and I am panning my light. Each one is a degree, but if the light is shining, you know, 60 feet away or 40 feet away on the stage, one degree is actually a lot of movement on the stage. So you may want to hold down shift and roll the wheel and you'll see that you actually have to roll it quite far to go from 16 to 15 degrees and if I keep rolling I go to 14 degrees and it you can't really see here but the light is actually moving very very slowly so you have ultimate control um, some of the when you select the wheels you have the wheel banks here in position we only have one wheel bank and it's called position that's very very simple but if I were to select a light like a via 1K and I go into the shape controls, look at my wheel banks here. I have Gobo wheel one. I have the lens, which shows me edge, zoom, and frost. Then I have the top and bottom shutters. I have the left and right shutters. I have all shutters, and this is a great thing about natural language control. We actually pair them up. So if you wanna make a box, you just grab the red and the green, you throw those in and you'll get all four shutters coming in very quickly. And then there's another bank here called shutter rotation. Now on some of the uh, lights when you, you will need to be going from the left to the right to the front to the uh, top to the bottom. So rather than using the touch screen all the time, what you can do is you can just continually press over and over again the hard button on the desk and that will go through all the different wheel banks and that way you can be running top and bottom, left and right. And then you might want to go back to top and bottom. Well, that's a bit boring doing the round robin all the way through. So let's look at this. Here I am doing the top and the bottom shutters. Then I hit the button one more time and I go to the left and the right shutters and I do this. Now I need to adjust the top, hold down shift again and hit the hard shape button. That will bank you backwards. So now I'm back on top and bottom, then I go back to the left and right, then I can go back to the top and bottom, and then I can roll through and do something else like edge control. Now we mentioned um, the, uh, uh, the fact that everything is a unit, and sometimes uh, those units are very specific, like gobos. So if we go into the gobo wheel here, we see that we can do go from open, pinwheel, spiral stones, block breakup, dust breakup, alpha rays. Now sometimes a designer will say, I specifically want block breakup, and you can then look at it in a list. So you can either touch on the screen the whole bubble, and it'll open up a list, and then you can touch block breakup and go directly to it. And that will be a zero second fade right to that, so it'll be very quick on stage. The other thing is without using the touch screen, you can actually hit the button, in this case for the red wheel, is the B button. If I hit the B button, I get a list, and I'm not using the touch screen now, and then I could go directly to pinwheel, and then I hit the button again, and that will go jump directly to pinwheel. Uh, I could go now and jump directly to alpha race. So, and when you do it on things like position, 
there will be sensible values for uh, pan and tilt. Uh, so there'll be like zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees. So let me just hit my pan to zero there. Oh, I'm gonna do it with the real light so we can see it here. Um, so we go to position and let me just pan this to zero degrees and tilt this to zero degrees. Now, that's quite uh, a useful thing, zero degrees. That gets you back home. Um, there's other ways to do it, of course. If I, if I was uh, down here, there'll be a whole other topic on this, but in advance, I can actually just say, um, go to the default positions and that will do the same. Uh, and again, but it, it can be much simpler than that too. Let me go back to my wheels. I'm gonna take this guy here. I'm gonna point him towards the stage and then I, I think, oh, no, actually, I want to start from scratch again. I can hit the B wheel, roll down to zero degrees, hit the B wheel, and get to it. I just showed you how to do that. Um, but simpler than that, hold down any one of the shift buttons, and then hit the B button, and it will take us to the default value, which in this case is zero, and that is zero, too. Um, I want to show you something uh, interesting, too. If I run this to a level and I hit the buttons and I go to zero, zero. Um, if I hit it again, it'll actually go to one extent, which is minus 270 degrees here. So that's gone to 270 degrees. Hit it again, and I'll go to the other extent, or hit it again, and I'll go to the defaults. That's great for pan tilt. Uh, if you look at this in uh, zoom control, uh, let's see, I go from 19 degrees, my default is 20 degrees, and I go to 43 degrees. This is great. I could go to, um, oops, wrong button. I could go to um, 19 degrees, 43 degrees, back to 20 degrees. Or if I'm in a color mixing light, uh, when I'm in, in uh, colors, uh, sorry, excuse me, colors, this is great. I just hit shift B, I get zero red. Shift green, I get zero green. Shift blue, I get zero blue. And if I hold down shift, I get zero, hundred, zero, hundred, zero, hundred. And that's a great way to go to quick saturated colors or to clear things out. Um, clearing things out again, if I had like a gobo uh, and I'm in alpha rays and I just want to get home, I just do that and it'll open it up. So um, that is a quick overview of some of the great tools inside of the wheel banks for running things with natural language control in Cognito. And uh, next time we're going to talk about specifically the position controls and all the different ways that you can aim your lights. So until next, until next time, thanks very much for joining me. Bye-bye.